Hi, I'm Bonnie Drushell, and this is my husband, Tom Drushell. Say hi, Tom. Hey, everybody. How are you? And um, we will be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary, July 13th, 2015. And um, we've known each other for 32 years. And we just have fun together. Even though, you know, challenges come up, we we communicate and bring ourselves back to the moment and we really love each other and we just love having a good time in nature with each other and we love playing tennis and doing yoga and we do all sorts of things together as a couple because we really enjoy each other's company. Right Tom? I'll tell you from the moment I met Bonnie I, I walked into a room and she was just entertaining a group of uh, women at the, at the time, about 24 women just engaged with what she had to say. So from the very beginning, I've always in been intrigued with how good she are, is with people and uh, she's really like the life of the party. And I'll tell you, to Bonnie's point, we have a way of mixing it up, so to speak. Uh, we love to be in nature. Yes, we do a lot of downhill and cross country skiing, but recently more than ever, Bonnie's uh, turned us on to yoga. And I don't know, has, has anybody done a lot of yoga in their lifetime? Well, you know, we used to do yoga years ago, and then, um, you know, I did a class last year, and then didn't do yoga for a long time, and been something I wanted to do, and then I just kept putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. And so this one day I just decided, you know, I'm gonna make the commitment, and go for yoga and so I did it and I just felt like a completely new person I had no stress left in my body it was just the best thing ever so I came home and Tom noticed the shift in me and so he decided that he was gonna try yoga again and so um, we ended up going to a class together and how was that experience for you, Tom? Boy, I'll tell you I jumped right in and before you knew it after an hour it's besides all the sweat I felt really inner peace, I felt uh, grounded, I felt in the moment, which I think is a really big strength about what we like to share with each other. Uh, to Bonnie's point, there's sometimes you get off track with uh, what your goals are for that particular day, let's say, but once you are grounded again, it's nice to have someone you can share you know, life experiences with, and, and that's really a good thing for us. Yeah, it's great. and. Like Tom has always been very supportive of me. I'm an artist. I'm a visual artist, a painter, photographer, and um, I'm a heal your life coach and teacher in the philosophy of Louise Hay. And I've shared the principles that I have learned over the years with Tom. And, um, you know, we both embrace um, living in the moment and loving ourselves for who we are mm -hmm. and having fun and giving back to people and um, You know when negative thoughts come up or whatever um, you know, we just Let them come up and Somehow they dissolve and then we can get back to having a great time, but you know, it's really fun um, Like Tom is a New York Yankee ball game lover. He, he's, he grew up with the Yankees. He's been to hundreds of games. And I don't really, you know, dig baseball. However, I want to be with Tom, so I will go, uh, you know, to baseball games with him and stuff. And I'm there for him, and, you know, we just have a great time together. I want to support him in what he loves to do as well because he's very supportive to me in what I do as well. And I just think it's a really nice thing you know, you have family or friends, or if you're a couple, to um, support each other with what the other person wants to do. What do you think? I, I'd be honest with you. Bonnie's point is, is so uh, near and dear to me that if you can find a connection and kind of champion, champion each other's uh, focuses, it really makes for a stronger relationship. And, um, you know, I tell you, one of the passions we have besides many is to uh, literally go out into nature. And, um, you know, when you get into nature, it seems like everybody wants to go on a walk. You know, Bonnie, just go for a walk. And the goal is to go for a walk. And then when you're done, it's like, wow, we went for a walk. But I think over, over the years, we've allowed ourselves to be a part of nature. 
you know, to allow ourselves to stop, listen to the birds singing, and um, actually join in some of the merriment, so to speak. And we've started creating games uh, as we uh, venture into the into the uh, nature. And um, we're actually in the process of writing our new first ever book. Uh, it's called Nice. It's called Nature Inspired Creative Experiences. And a lot of the things we've learned by having fun in nature is going to be brought out in that publication to allow others to enjoy some of the wonderful things we've enjoyed on our treks through the woods. Yes. And um, to your point, Tom, it's, it's like there's so many great things to see when you're out in nature. Uh, one thing uh, Dorothy McLean taught me um, is she is a... Uh, she, she was one of the, the founders of Finhorn and um, also an author. And I went to go see her speak one time and she was sharing with the audience how when you go out into nature, there are all different types of trees. Like, and before that, I, I really never noticed the, the saplings, you know, the larger trees and then the, these huge old growth trees. And, uh, you know, each tree has its, its own wisdom and personality. And, um, you know, they're all trees, but they all all different. Just like us, you know, people, we're all people and we're all different. You know, we're all the same, but different. And, um, like, you know, when you go out into nature, you can, uh, you know, in the, in the summer when things are in full bloom, uh, you know, there's this great, you can smell the, the, the dirt, the fresh dirt, and, um, you know, the leaves. There's just an abundance of leaves on the trees. And, you know, to your point, the birds are singing, and you see chipmunks and squirrels running around. And uh, there's just a lot to entertain yourself. And if you're like, you're really there in the moment, like you're not thinking about the past, you're not thinking about what you have to do later or tomorrow, and you're just there. Mm. You know, a lot of magical things happen. It's like this energy. You, you just feel, you get energized from nature. And, um, you know, it has been proven, um, you know, scientifically, is that people who go out in nature can be healed from cancer and from mm. diseases because of the healing effects of the trees. Wow. And I don't, I don't have that specific name, but I did read, read an article about it. And uh, like in Japan, they actually have companies, corporations, <laughs> people who work in the corporations doing these nature outings because it has amazing healing effects for the people. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty intense. It is. It's in awesome. In a great sense. I, you know, what really resonated, Bonnie, when you were talking, besides many things, was the aspect of being in the moment. Because we're strong believers that magic is in the moment. It, it's so easy to think about what needs to be done tomorrow versus what I could have, should have done in the past, you know, and you can spend a lot of time doing that. But being in this area, uh, in the naturalistic aspects of, of just being, you know, us together, and just taking the time and being there in that moment just brings so much joy and emphasis on really allowing ourselves to be who we are and accept each other for what we're doing at that moment in time. And it's really, it's a great thing. And I'm, I'm really honored that I can share this with uh, my beautiful Bonnie. You're so sweet. Of so many years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll just tell you, it's just, uh, it's been a lot of joy. And uh, we have some great dreams ahead of ourselves. And we really want to help others. Um, you know, the shine and, and really, uh, you know, uh, enjoy themselves for who they are and really become as professional and free and fun as they want to be in life. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, you know, like I said before, challenges come up, you know, things come up, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, how you were brought up. Maybe, you know, you have certain things you do. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you get, have anger or whatever comes up. Mm -hmm. um, it's good just to be understanding of one another of you know where you came from to say oh well it's not about me mm. it's just something within that person that you know they get mad or whatever and mm. and let it be and, and it's okay and a huge thing is forgiveness like really forgiving 
when something happens. Um, forgiveness is like really, you're not carrying that hatred, that, that anger, that, that hurt with you anymore. And like when you let it go, like you free up energy for good stuff to come into your life. And you can actually see it. Like when, when people like let go of stuff, you, you can see it, their, their whole physiology changes. <laughs> You know, they become lighter. It's an interesting thing to see. Boy, you great. know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, Tom? totally, totally in <laughs> on all levels. Wow, I'll tell you, it's 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 amazing to see the shift that people can have. Like you said, when they're allowed to just let go and be free and bring in that which is fun around them. And um, to that point, Bonnie, it's been an honor, and I look forward to many, many more years. Just of a happiness. handshake, Tom. It's going like this, baby. It's <laughs> great. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm everybody. Bonnie Drushell. I'm Tom Drushell. And have a great day and have fun, play <laughs> often, live life to its fullest. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. We did it. <laughs> and he, he's just over there, just cracking up. He's got a six pack he's working off of. It's like. <laughs>